Today we're going to look at how to test the control board on the P-Series variable frequency drive. At the end of the video, we will demonstrate how to replace the control board. There are three possible error messages related to control board failure. COM slash CPU error, LOI, LOV, or lost CMD, and max pressure. If you get any of these errors, you should first check the terminal block and ribbon cable connections and make sure they are plugged in securely. Next, confirm the control board has power by looking for flashing LEDs in the center of the board. A flashing light indicates power is present. Test the DC voltage on the control board terminals. Remove any wired terminal blocks and test at the pins. Test the red lead at V plus for 12 VDC, V minus for minus 12 VDC, or 24 for 24 VDC. Test the black lead at 5G for motors 40 horsepower and below, or CM for 50 horsepower and above. If the voltage is significantly less than the expected range, then do the following. Check that cooling fans are running properly and are clean. If not, replace the fan and retest. Disconnect all control wiring from the control board terminals and retest. If the correct voltage is shown, perform the test again, first while the motor is running, and then while the motor is stopped, to check for variance. If no voltage is measured, replace the control board. If the voltage is correct, connect a jumper wire between either V plus or 24 and I or V1. Verify reading in DRV98 for I or DRV97 for V1. If the reading is not correct or an error is still present, replace the control board. If the reading is correct, performing an SO test is necessary to determine the source of the issue. To perform the SO test, connect a jumper between terminals SO and either I or V1. Change parameter IO98 to YES. Check parameter DRV98 or DRV97 for V1. For the I input, the value should change between 12 and 18 milliamps roughly. For the V1 input, the value should be between 3 to 4.5 volts. If the values are correct, replace the transducer. If they are not correct, replace the control board. To replace the control board, First, power off the drive. Disconnect all terminal blocks and the ribbon cable. Remove the five screws securing the control board and swap it out. Secure the new board and connect the terminal blocks and ribbon cable. Power the drive on. You will be asked to enter the model number of your VFD. Check the label on the side of your drive and enter the number accordingly. Now your control board is set up and ready to continue with the basic programming.